What about that Philly turmoil? Let's let's pull on that string a little bit here uh, and how you see that all playing out over the next several weeks. Well, you know, in covering the Lakers, uh, I, I think it was um, I think it was either LeBron or Anthony Davis in the last couple of weeks spoke about how, how well they're, they're playing. And he said all the pieces fit. And it's just the exact opposite in, in Philadelphia. The pieces don't fit. Ben Simmons is showing out right now while Joel Embiid is not in the lineup. And when Joel Embiid's in there and, and occupies the space that he does, and rightfully so, he's the best big man in the game, Ben Simmons' game is limited, you know, because there's not the space on the floor for him to get into the lane. That's, that's where Embiid has to be most of the time, you know, or unless you make Embiid a standstill three-point shooter, which isn't doing his talents um, uh, the full service they deserve. And so there's, there's, a, there's a push and pull there. And, and you, know, you already had a uh, coach in Brett Brown who, you know, last season many believed that in the playoffs he was coaching for his job. And I'm not so sure his early season coaching performance has inspired much confidence that he will be the guy to ultimately figure it out with this personnel uh, or they find another coach or they have to, you know, think about moving a guy like Ben Simmons uh, to find uh, a fit that works better next to Joel Embiid because Joel Embiid, when healthy, is like a top five dominant player in the game. So, you know, Alton Brand's a smart guy, went to Duke. He knows what he's doing. Um, he must see this. He must know this. What do you think the answer is? What do you think the move is here? So, you know, I, I think preaching patience is, is, is a good thing. Um, you know, those guys are still quite young. I, I personally, if I was running the team, I don't think you have to, you know, make a, a drastic move, say, at this trade deadline. I think you, you try to hope that, you know, they are still incorporating a, a major new piece like an Al Horford. You recognize that you want to try to get some shooting at the trade deadline because, like, a couple of years ago when they added Ersan Sova and Marco Bellinelli, that shooting is what allowed that team to really, you know, finally make its mark that they was trying to make. Uh, I would do that first. If it flames out in the, in the playoffs, then you have to ask the, yourself some serious questions. But... You know, outside of Milwaukee, I don't know if there's any other team in the East that I would say has a better chance to make the finals than the Sixers, despite kind of the the clunky uh, formation that we're talking about. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.